Hey everybody, Joe here from Dark Animals and today I'm reviewing set 76996, Knuckles' Guardian Mech. And like the name suggests, it seems not even Sonic is safe from LEGO's mech obsession. First off, this set consists of one bulky mech, a cute bat glider, a master emerald and two minifigures. So let's start with the mech, and total disregard for source accuracy aside, it's not a bad looking mech from a toy perspective. It's made to resemble our main character of the set, Knuckles. The legs are nice and chunky, but I do miss bendable knees. Fortunately, the hips and ankles feature poseable ball joints, which means you can play around with a few poses. The feet are nice and solid, and I like how the bricks used matches the colors of Knuckles' shoes and socks. These grey pieces at the front are also a very smart way to match the character design. Moving up to the arms, we have the same issue where this mech has a case of some seriously stiff elbows. But again, the two ball joints at the wrists and shoulders alleviates that a little bit. These large red shoulder pieces rounds off the design nicely, but while I appreciate the look of the hands, it really sucks that there's no poseable fingers. The cockpit area is a bit flimsy and not well thought out unfortunately. Especially the controls on the front, which is just on this little droid arm piece. It would have been nice if this was closed off a little bit more, either with a roll cage type design or a windshield. It does have some stud shooters to the sides to up the play value and these printed Exo Knight shields at the back is nice to get. Up top we get these movable flaps that sort of resembles Knuckles' slick back hair. The back of the mech looks horribly unfinished to me, I wish they added some tile pieces to close it up a little bit more. Moving on to the glider, I really like how they made the snout out of those pink heart pieces. The wings have some ball joints and hinges to allow for some flapping and you can also attach the figure to the back. And this piece underneath adds another play feature that we'll get to after looking at the Master Emerald. I kind of like what LEGO did over here using a recolored dress piece from the LEGO Princess range. This green color is also awesome and inside we get a few smaller emeralds. It also sits freely on this little platform which allows Rouge to pick it up with a glider. Moving on to the figures, we get Knuckles the Echidna, Guardian of the Master Crystal. And he looks excellent. We get dual molded legs with printing and some basic but accurate printing on the torso. And at the back we get the most awkward looking tail design. He also has these great looking detachable white gloves. And his exclusive dual molded head is fantastic. Our second feature is Rouge the Bat. And again, Lego sparing no expense over here. Along with the printed and dual molded legs, we also get dual molded arms. The torso and back printing is a little weak on the black body, but I've seen much, much worse before. She also has an amazing exclusive dual molded head, and I think the design of the face just nails it. To round off the figure, we also get this nice purple wing attachment. So another Sonic set paired with some incredible minifigures. I think kids will have a lot of fun with the bulls included, and I appreciate the story context they've added into the play features. But for me personally, this set is all about the minifigures, and I do enjoy growing my roster of Sonic characters. Anyways, let me know what you thought about this set, and please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you like this review and what we do. And as always, thanks for watching.